today we're going to be getting our knife to gold viper. It's easy to do in one game, but it's difficult to do as a whole. So getting melee gold is quite a lot different than getting a gun gold because you have a couple challenges that are actually really difficult to do, um, being the jackrabbit medals, which you have to get 20 of with only a knife, and then the carnage medals, meaning you have to get 10 rapid kills using only melee, which that one is actually probably the hardest one. And the ones you don't even have to worry about at all are the getting 1,000 kills with your uh, melee weapon, as well as 1,000 pack punched kills. And then of course there's also the 20 Sturm Krieger kills, but those ones are super easy, especially in one game. So what we want to focus on are those Carnage medals and the Jackrabbit medals, because like I said, those are going to be the most difficult ones to do. You want to find an area, and this is similar to how we did the MP41. Um, we're going to be going into an infinite harvest round, basically. I think it was probably about round... I want to say six or seven or so that was a good one for me to sit on because it's low enough that you're not going to be getting a lot of uh, super sprinters and that you'll be able to one shot the zombies but it's also high enough that you can get the carnage medals now I would recommend getting the jackrabbit medals on the uh, harvest that's like round three or four maybe even the round one harvest if you want to go with that but personally I just went with the round, um, I'm not even sure what it was, probably three or four. I went and got all the jackrabbit medals that I could in that one, because those ones are super difficult to get, because you're going to notice in this video there's a bug uh, that works, I think it's something to do with, uh, with aim assist or something like that. I tried to turn it off in the settings and I couldn't find anything, but basically what it would do is it would cause you to lock on to an enemy that's like all the way across the entire map with your knife. And so you would try to melee this zombie that's right in front of you and then you'd do a 180 and lunge like 10 feet in the other direction. And you'll see a couple examples here in this gameplay of that. And it has caused me to miss out on dozens of both carnage medals and jackrabbit medals because either it caused me to take damage or it caused me to miss my melee shot because if you miss a melee when you're going for a carnage you have to restart the entire metal each and every single melee you do for that metal has to kill a zombie otherwise you're not going to get it which is why you have to be on a round where your melee can insta kill them otherwise it's not going to work at all Now, in relation to Covenants, the only one you really need is the one that boosts your melee damage and heals you per melee kill. The, the other ones can be helpful, but again, you don't really want something like Cryo Freeze. So what I would recommend, other than just the melee Covenant, is to get the one that deals more damage to stunned and slowed enemies, as well as getting the one that... Uh, gives you a higher chance to to keep your equipment after having used it and then in this case you can just use stun grenades which will actually help out a lot towards getting some of these medals especially if you're trying to get the Sturm Krieger ones because uh, those guys can be a pain but regardless they're still pretty easy to kill with knives and um, you know you can also just stun a zombie horde if you need to get your last few kills for a jackrabbit medal or something but for Carnage, it's not really that helpful, so it's mostly just focusing on those Jackrabbit ones. And you'll see here the point of relief where I finally get these medals done, and I completed all the Sturmkrieger, everything, and it took so long, it was like, well, not super long, it was like two hours to get every single medal. But you'll see it gives me the Gold, Viper, and Plague Diamond camo. And uh, one of the camo or challenge names is a little screwed up. I think it was for the diamond camo. But I thought it was a little funny. <laughs> a little funny to look at the ZM, PD, whatever I said it was. But that's pretty much uh, everything there is to it. Uh, this one doesn't have to be a super long video either. It's just describing some pretty basic stuff. Um, just trying to get you through the most difficult parts of the challenges. And like I said keep it on a low rate on a low round to start off with the jackrabbit medals 
then when you're doing the carnage medals move to a higher round because it'll be a little easier to complete those and that's about it see ya